So my first experience is about social media, is, is, is about defining the social media. You know, um, should you really try and define the social media? Uh, you, my uh, submission will be, and I'll let my panelists later on uh, uh, sort of rebuff me, uh, since there's really no point. You can use social media much to your heart's content, either as a journalist or as a, um, as a marketer or a business person without really ever uh, getting the comfort that you have understood social media. Social media is changing far too fast uh, for us to be able to ever reach a comfort level of having understood it. Um, you know, for those who say or give an attempt to say that they can understand social media is to say that they can understand why Facebook paid $19 billion for I WhatsApp and uh, why Nokia got valued at only $7 billion, roughly just, you know, 30% of WhatsApp despite being uh, a much larger company. So it's difficult to, 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 to really ever reach a situation where you know I understand social media. Only thing we realized, and I think my panelists will again agree, it's, it's very big and it's growing at a very fast rate. And uh, what we have recently realized, it's also increasingly almost entirely getting mobile. And uh, I think that's one big lesson if you look at Facebook, Twitter, and even WhatsApp acquisition is that that uh, that if whatsapp gets valued at uh, 19 billion um, and instagram get valued at year and a half ago at 1 billion because they were 100 percent mobile products and right so uh, whatever content you have it probably has to be mobile first it probably has to be mobile first doesn't mean mobile only so that's my first sort of learning or experience uh, which by no means is definitive now, linked to the fact is that uh, it's since we can't understand, we can definitely understand it's ever changing. It's changing every day. The other thing um, which we found from our experience is that using social media purely to talk about the content, and and therefore the product marketing, uh, the distinction between product and marketing actually can be blurred if not eliminated totally. Uh, which means that whether it's an India Today weekly uh, cover story is coming or it is a Mail Today exclusive or an Arch Tuck or Headlines Today exclusive that is about to break or has broken and you want repeat attention, you can keep retweeting with different pitches with small video links or pictures. And, and SEO is a fairly, uh, fairly um, mechanized infantry by this time in most media houses. Right? You know how to crack it or you think you know how to crack it. SMO, social media optimization, is a tougher, but it's more desirable thing to go after, according to me. Because SMO optimization, you can never automate. It will require heavy human intelligence. And only those who can give best headlines, pick best, best pictures, can reduce the video uh, of a 30-minute video to a 30-second video and yet retain substance in it. Those are the people who will win the SMO war. And I think it's a, for any of you who ever now or later face a choice between SEO and SMO, my early suggestion will be go for SMO. Uh, hopefully you'll never have the choice to make. So uh, again, this, on this point, one example, uh, see this was a, this was a tweet, oh no, sorry, this was a Facebook uh, post we did when our Kejival announced uh, his helpline for corruption. And I just want to draw your attention between these two posts. This was done one hour, uh, and the difference between these two posts is actually the second post came about close to 22 minutes after the first post. Now you see the difference, and look at the bottom numbers again. They are very small, so I'll read it out. The first one was actually like a news break, right? But it got you 444 likes and only 40 shares. Uh, the second one, which came 22 minutes late, which is very late according to some of my colleagues uh, in social media and SEO team, but it got you much higher likes, almost three times and almost four times more share. The difference was there was a story in this post. There was no story in this post. This was just breaking news. So social media is very quality conscious. Uh, it's not just time conscious. It's very, and if you can combine somehow, if you have to delay yourself by a few minutes to produce a better content, you should do it. The only difference between this and this, you, which most of you have noticed, we just photoshopped his cap. 
and and we said Mahu inspector and we we added utility by giving a graft helpline number on the post which was missing in this one i think social media is merging and if content takes the lead in marketing itself it will make the marketing job easier for the richer off late uh, you know this is something that we discuss lots in our group meetings in india today group as well as in the smaller meetings with the digital team is uh, where is the traffic going to go because unlike uh, as many people in this hall may already know the the technology uh, the content generation um one of the issues with legacy media companies uh, i don't know how many of you have observed it's this company or bennett and goldman and ht has been that they the digital teams have been trying to reconfigure the content generated for mother brands to digital and therefore very often is the non legacy media companies which create more buzz and offer more traffic and sometimes and financially more value uh because content creators from day one are not thinking of the device they are thinking of a a4 page newspaper a magazine or a broadsheet newspaper uh i think we are reaching a time and non media companies like facebook twitter whatsapp google uh both directly and indirectly giving us enough data uh to show that content creation has to start from mobile and whatever little experiments we have done in house we 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 now are confident and hopefully in two months we'll be able to show it to all of you and the whole world is that you can actually start your content creation from a 5 inch or a 4 inch screen and yet create content which will be very unique very relevant for larger canvases you just make it modular uh you can so that's another big trend we are witnessing that we have not yet fully adopted to it um for those who may be wondering whether i'm only sort of talking like a journalist rather than uh, any other uh, sort of hat i really have no other hat to wear uh, but uh, again everything around you tells you that uh, mind share is what you have to get first before you worry about market share and mind share and market share is not too different from each other but there is a final distinction to made and then worry about profit share um so therefore if you if your employers and your investors as the case may be are excessively worried about profit share or profit visibility what do you do uh what you do is to try and generate mind share and market share at the lowest possible cost and start showing results very fast not for profit but for mind share and market share and that is definitely possible it's absolutely possible to create to demonstrate very clear results of generating unique relevant mind share and market share uh we just have to start doing it um i'll just end by saying that actually no where the where with this magazine or a newspaper magazine will be richer because magazine by nature have traditionally uh, came into being that they were supposed to have long shelf life and richer content and they do have they just have not been able to perhaps adapt to the net or the mobile as fast but uh, it it all boils down to be telling great stories no matter what your format is no matter whether it is smo or seo if you really have no great story you can't fudge yourself for too long it will all show up in magazine like india today or even with the second headlines today you always are wondering whether uh, whether you are trying to sort of be a uh, you know doing newsy for a magazine is getting trickier and trickier thanks to social media and seo because you don't know whether you will catch the you know tail of the news and nobody is interested by the time you hit the stands but if you are a good storyteller and that's a challenge for us uh you can be timely and timeless both and if you can't be both uh, which thanks to technology now is increasingly possible uh it's very difficult to succeed anywhere you better be dead so it is possible to be timely and timeless and if you are timely and timeless in your content uh you will succeed in social media